So we have our table of contents set up, but we have page three on the table of contents, and our first uh, work actually starts on page five. So what we need to do is go through and figure out how to fix that. If you click on pages, and you go down to page five, right click, go down to where it says numbering and section options, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new section, and instead of automatic page numbering, we're going to start page numbering at one, we select OK. Now if we scroll, if you notice, it says page one. Let me just zoom in here so you can see that. Page one, page three. So it goes through and it's updated our page numbers simply by right clicking on the page and changing um, numbering and section options. Now for the beginning, we have our table of contents up here and it says page three, we can remove that by changing the style to none. We drag that down to right here, our table of contents, and it gets rid of it. We could also change that if we wanted our first pages that exist to be Roman numer numerals, let's say. You can also do that here by start page numbering and you can change this to Roman numerals now they don't show up, but they do show up here, I, 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 and then it goes into one, two, and it just starts over again. So right here on this board, we just make sure there's no uh, page shown, and it'll show up. Now with our table of contents, once we've done this, we can make whatever changes. Maybe we add or we subtract pages, but now it's no longer on page five. So you click inside the table of contents, go up to layout, update table of contents yes and it's gone through and it's updated the layout of our table of contents so that's a quick reference to show you how you can go through and lay out a booklet uh, for creating a booklet now when you're finished with your booklet save it inside the same folder that you've been saving it and then Ask Mr. Miller how you are supposed to print out the booklet correctly.